The upcoming by-election in Oxford County is a crucial one for the future of the region and the country. The candidates from different parties have different views on how to manage the tax system and who should pay more or less. Here is a summary of their tax proposals based on their campaign statements and platforms. Arpan Khanna, the conservative candidate, has pledged to follow the party leader Pierre Polivre's tax plan, which includes repealing the carbon tax, cutting personal income taxes for all Canadians, reducing corporate taxes for small businesses, and eliminating subsidies for the CBC. Kana also supports Polivre's proposal to build Canadian pipelines with Canadian steel to reduce dependence on foreign oil and create jobs. Kana argues that these measures will boost economic growth, create opportunities, and lower the cost of living for Oxford residents. David Hilderley, the Liberal candidate, has endorsed the party leader Justin Trudeau's tax plan, which includes increasing taxes on the wealthy, imposing a minimum tax on large corporations that use loopholes to avoid paying their fair share, and expanding the Canada Child Benefit and the Old Age Security for low- and middle-income families. Hilderly also supports Trudeau's plan to invest in green infrastructure, clean energy, and public transit to fight climate change and create jobs. Hilderly argues that these measures will make the tax system more fair, support families and seniors, and protect the environment for future generations. Elizabeth Quinto, the NDP candidate, has backed the party leader Jagmeet Singh's tax plan, which includes introducing a wealth tax on multimillionaires, raising corporate taxes on large profitable corporations, and closing tax havens and loopholes that benefit the rich. Quinto also supports Singh's plan to invest in universal pharmacare, dental care, and child care to improve health care and social services for all Canadians. Quinto argues that these measures will reduce inequality, make life more affordable, and ensure everyone has access to quality care. These are some of the main differences among the candidates on how they propose to lower or raise taxes for different groups of people. The voters of Oxford County will have to decide which vision they prefer and which candidate they trust to represent their interests in Ottawa. How the candidates are using tax issues to appeal to their base or attract new voters' tax issues are always a hot topic in any election, but especially in Oxford County, Maine, where voters will choose their next state senator and state representative in a special election on June 6. The candidates have different views on how to handle the state's budget, tax reform, and property taxes, and they are using these issues to appeal to their base or attract new voters. In the state Senate race, Democrat David Levesque is facing Republican Abraham Woodman Firth, who is also the mayor of Holton. Levesque is a former teacher and school board member who supports increasing funding for education and health care. He also supports expanding Medicaid under the Affordable Care Act and raising the minimum wage. He says he wants to make the tax system more fair and progressive, and he opposes any tax cuts for the wealthy or corporations. Firth is a lawyer and business owner who supports cutting taxes and spending, and reducing regulations. He says he wants to make Maine more business-friendly and create jobs. He also supports repealing the Affordable Care Act and opposes expanding Medicaid. He says he wants to lower property taxes by reforming the state's school funding formula and reducing state mandates on local governments. In the State House race, Democrat Daniel J. Ankles Asterisk Asterisk is facing Republican Andrew Kingman Cayley, who is also a town councillor in Brunswick. Ankles is a former journalist and environmental activist who supports investing in renewable energy, public transportation, and broadband access. He also supports raising taxes on the wealthy and corporations to fund public services and infrastructure. He says he wants to make Maine a leader in fighting climate change and promoting social justice. Kaylee is a former Marine and police officer who supports strengthening law enforcement, veteran services, and border security. He also supports lowering taxes and spending, and promoting school choice and charter schools. He says he wants to make Maine safer and more prosperous by supporting the Second Amendment, protecting life, and defending constitutional rights. Both races are expected to be competitive, as Oxford County is a swing district that has voted for both parties in recent elections. 
The candidates are hoping to persuade voters with their different visions for the state's future, especially on tax issues that affect their wallets and quality of life.